Ramalan, Ramalan, my king for the joys of Jannah. Ramalan, Ramalan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Let me first of all introduce myself. I am Yusuf Misbahi Thaqafi. I was born in Kerala in one of the southern states of India. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty Creator, blessed me to study at one of the or the most prominent Islamic institutes in India known as Jami'a Marqas al-Saqafat al-Sunniyya under the auspicious guidance of Sheikh Abu Bakr Ahmed. And I can proudly and with full thanks to Allah, I can say that it was the Marqas and the inspiration of Shaykhuna Abu Bakr Ahmed al-Malaybadi that I managed to travel around the world with a mission of sharing the message of Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed me because of the dua and support of the Marqaz and Shaykh Abu Bakr. He allowed me to travel in 1998 all the way to Africa in Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, one of the African countries. The exclusive purpose was to propagate and promote the teachings of Islam. Alhamdulillah, after getting a couple of years of experience in Zimbabwe, I also moved to Malawi and started teaching there. In 2002, with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I came to Australia and I joined Islamic College of Brisbane in Australia and started teaching the Islamic studies, Arabic and Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he continued with his blessings on me when he allowed me to complete my further education. And I did, alhamdulillah, an extra degree from Swinburne University. And afterwards, I joined Australian Islamic International Islamic College in Brisbane. Since 2012, I've been teaching at this school, this institute, teaching right from year seven all the way to year 12, Islamic studies, Arabic, and Quran. I believe that my inspiration and support that I received was great. The inspiration and support that I received from Sheikh Abu Bakr Ahmed and Jami'a Marqas Saqafat Sunniyya, I can never forget. I'm always thankful, grateful for their enormous degree of support. I always pray for Shaykhuna, for his wellness, for his great health. He would put everything aside when it comes to the well-being of the students and well-being of the Ummah. He always faced so many challenges in his life, but he had one very strong goal. That was to promote the message, to promote the teachings of Islam. He would defend every teaching of Islam with any cost. And he would go to any extent to support any poor and destitute. He is therefore known as the father of orphans because he loves caring for the vulnerable, destitutes, orphans in the community. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue blessing, to continue caring for this great Sheikh and his great institute and the organization, Marqa Saqafat Sunniyya. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give him long life with good health in the service of deen. 
with regards to the month of Ramadan in Australia, Alhamdulillah, though we are very small uh, portion of the population, just around two and a half percent of the total Australian population, that is how Muslims are. But uh, Alhamdulillah, when it comes to the month of Ramadan, you can see that almost all the Muslims around Australia, they are very thrilled, excited, they really welcome it. Uh, and they go to the masajid, alhamdulillah, we have mosques in every cities, although the cities like Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, they are quite large, quite uh, huge, but still we have a number of masajid, mosques in, in each and every city, and also small musallas around, and every mosque, is, uh, you can see them all packed during the, the month of Ramadan when it comes to praying Taraweeh, alhamdulillah. Unfortunately, we are in 2020, uh, in year 2020, because of this, um, you know, a terrible coronavirus, uh, for some reasons, it's a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And because of that, we Muslims are now restricted to pray at our homes we cannot go and gather for uh, organizing jamaat or congregational prayer. But Alhamdulillah, it gives another chance for the believers to pray at home with their families. You know, that also is a, a, a good outcome of it. But still, Alhamdulillah, a number of organizations, for example, the college that I am working at, Australian International Islamic College, it, every year it provides uh, iftar for thousands of people. There is an iftar program every, in every Ramadan. Uh, people from all walks of life, they come and attend and enjoy our iftar program. But this year we couldn't do that. So what we did, alhamdulillah, we are um, uh, doing a new uh, kind of new uh, form of approach. And that is called a contactless iftar. In other words, you know, there will be families, the cars will be coming uh, coming through, driving through, and then we just uh, offer them the, the food package for the whole families, you know, being very generous. Alhamdulillah, college in that respect is very generous, you know. Uh, whenever I teach here and uh, uh, engage in activities, it, it all comes to my mind how uh, Marcus Saqaf, the Sunni, back in Kerala, also uh, very active in organizing social uh, programs and also delivering food, supplying dates for people in the month of Ramadan. I remember that uh, in a packets of uh, you know, dates used to be given out to thousands of people at markets. Amazing. Alhamdulillah. And this year, we Muslims are also feel very honored and proud that our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison, had publicly issued a, a statement, came out and, and appreciated. He congratulated the whole Muslim community, although we are very small in number. Now, even the government, politicians all are coming to recognize our presence here, our celebrations, our uh, pr uh, practices and acts of worship. The community is coming to learn and realize it and they recognize it. That's a great thing. So th this is how. Uh, and in addition to that, we can see that people, they, do not, uh, they are not reluctant to, uh, to give out uh, their charity. They, uh, they donate, they give out a huge amount of money in this month of Ramadan. Uh, and that is another great thing that I've noticed, you know, um, people are very generous. Uh, when it comes to the month of Ramadan, Australian Muslims, they go, they uh, uh, take a huge amount of monies out of their pockets. Alhamdulillah, that's great. Um, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, um, you know, to bless this country, to bless the community of, of, of Australia, uh, regardless of what religion, they all to live in uh, peace and prosperity. Thank you very much. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.